one of the stories I remember, you know, I'll never forget was we had an elderly gentleman who um, had called his primary care doctor complaining of, of chest pain, shortness of breath, not really feeling well. And uh, of course, the, the physician was concerned for COVID, but also wanted to make sure that there wasn't a cardiac issue going on or anything else going on. And at that point, uh, they didn't have the ability to do house calls. So they knew that the, the patient was a member of Solace, so they called over to Solace and, and gave us the story. And so we dispatched our, our house call team. We were able to evaluate the patient, uh, do a slew of diagnostics, including blood work, EKG, a chest X-ray, all from the patient's uh, apartment. And uh, we were able to diagnose the patient not only with COVID, but also with an NSTEMI, uh, non-ST elevation myocardial infarction or a heart attack for the lay person. And so this is a pretty precarious situation because, you know, as an emergency physician, when I see an NSTEMI, those, those patients are getting admitted. And so in coordinating with the patient's primary care physician, their cardiologists, uh, their pulmonologists, and that's one of the things that I think Solace does a great job of is, you know, we coordinate care with our members' specialists and with our own specialist teams. This way, the patient gets the highest level of care that, that they can from the point of, of contact. The decision was made to treat the patient at home. In, in, in their apartment because they had the means and we had the uh, ability to do so. And so through telehealth and daily checks, doing cutting edge uh, treatments for COVID such as proning and, and steroids at, at the time, which is a great thing at Solace because we can cut through all that bureaucratic red tape. You know, if something's proven to be efficacious and safe for our patients, you, you know, it doesn't take a lot for us to be able to initiate that, that treatment. And so in doing so, we were able to treat not only the patient's COVID infection and see that through to resolution, but also their, their NSTEMI as well. And the, the patient ultimately ended up having a very good outcome.